Okay, we just finished in Adobe Camera Raw. We produced this uh, image out of a raw file. And as I looked at it, I decided I didn't like this big dark area. Um, and I didn't care for the brightness in the sky. It's, it's brighter than I intended it to be. So what I did is I changed some settings within Adobe Camera Raw and I produced two more images. In this image, um, I adjusted uh, the fill light slider and I brought more light uh, and texture into this area and in this image I darkened it, I lowered the exposure again to bring back some of the color in the sky and so in this tutorial what we're going to look at is the use of layers so we're going to continue to work in this first image or file um, but I'm going to start by dragging this image over into it. So I'm going to pu uh, push the move tool and when you hold the shift key and click and drag it will allow your image to fall in perfect position but only if you're holding the shift key the whole time. So now I have two layers. This is the top layer and this is the bottom layer. So how do we get everything uh, to hide the areas that we don't want to see? She's way overexposed, the sky is way overexposed. We do that with a layer mask. And you can get a layer mask in this button down here at the bottom. Just click on there and you can see that uh, a white area, a little white box popped up. The white means that nothing is happening. There's a, there's a mask there, but nothing is masked out yet. So what we can do is we can grab our paintbrush, and we want to paint with black, and right now our foreground color is white. So we're going to switch it around. Our brush is too small, and so I'm going to rate, increase the size. And we're at 100% opacity, and so that's okay. So I'm just going to start painting back in. And I'm going to paint over her. Now we can come to this channel here, just this channel palette. And if I click on this button, this shows uh, where I have painted in my mask already. The red is what's being masked, and so it's a good indicator showing us what we need so we don't miss anything. Um, now from there, let me turn that back off and go back to our layers. So let's look at this. I'm going to turn off that layer and turn it back on. I think we gained quite a bit there. It looks quite a bit better already. Um, we probably don't need it quite as bright, and so what I can do is lower the op opacity. If I went all the way down, then the layer would be completely ineffective. But I still want it dark, but I want to see some texture in here. And so that looks pretty decent, I think. Now we need to get the sky back. So I'm going to click on this layer and the move tool. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to drag it over on top of the first image. And again now we just have that first image, um, the whole thing's on top. So what do we need to do now? We need to make another uh, layer mask and we need to mask her and the bottom part so we keep the sky. If I click here you can see the difference in the sky this sky now looks much more interesting than this blown out sky. And so what we're going to do is click on a layer mask and get our paint brush back and might as well go to the channels from the beginning and click on this. And now I'm going to start painting in the area I want to mask. 
Now, when we're close to the top on this, we have to be more precise and careful not to overdo too much or underdo it. So I'm zooming in to paint there. If I do too much around, I can get a halo, and we, we might get that anyway. We can just fix it when we're done. So that's pretty good for now. I'm going to back out, and now I'm just going to increase the size of my brush because we don't have to worry about getting outside the edges or anything anywhere. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on that. And now when I click on this layer, the only thing that's changing is the sky. And we can make further modifications to the sky. We can clean it up. We can add some color. Um, and in this case, it might even be a good time to look at the clipping mask. Let me go ahead and make a layer. Um, I'm going to add a vibrance layer. But when I do that, I'm going to right click on it and select Create Clipping Mask. What you can see right here, this little arrow is pointing down to this layer. This is only going to impact this layer. I don't want to add my vibrance uh, to anything but this layer here. And so now when I increase it, you can see it, it's changing so that's really having a, a good impact and a glow on that sunset. 